Well, I thought I would just explain how this all happened, first of all, if that's okay. Okay, sure, go ahead. I'll tell you when to stop when I need to translate. <laughs> okay, 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 perfect. So I qualified as a classical homeopath in 2008, and I slowly moved into the area of women's health, and I was getting okay results, okay, but sometimes the results weren't lasting as long as I would have liked them to have lasted. In what year you said, Antoinette? 2008, right? 2008, yeah. Entonces, Antoinette empezó a desarrollarse como eh, homeopata en el 2008 y empezó a trabajar con mujeres con resultados más o menos buenos. Ajá. Ok. So, I really liked working with women and that's, that's where my main focus was. But I wasn't, I wasn't sticking to the traditional roots of homeopathy. I was looking at different ways of supporting women while they were, while they were um, being treated by me. And I did some training with yourself. I did menstrual tracking training with yourself. And I did the um, moon mother training with Miranda. And I also worked with some other Irish women all around womb wisdom, womb health, um, but in a very energetic way. Entonces sí, estaba trabajando como homeópata, pero realmente desde un principio empecé a incorporar otras formas de, de acercamiento a la salud de las mujeres. Eh, me, tra me capacité contigo, Mayela, en el tema del registro del ciclo menstrual. Después también me formé como Moon Mother con Miranda Gray y otras mujeres eh, que tenían todas algo que aportar en relación a la parte energética de la salud de la, del útero, de la matriz. Go ahead. So I was, I was very aware, because I was working with menstrual problems, and everybody I treat has, has some issue with their, with their menstrual cycle, whether they're still bleeding or not. But because that's the area I was working in, I was very aware of the connection between a positive connection to your womb and, um, and positive menstrual cycles, and also a negative connection to your womb and negative uh, experiences with menstrual cycles. Entonces, como estaba trabajando con muchas mujeres alrededor del tema de menstruación que venían a mi consultorio, era el tema más común, eh, me di cuenta que había una gran eh, diferencia cuando las mujeres tenían una relación positiva con su cuerpo, con su útero, con su ciclo menstrual, sin importar si estaban, si eran mujeres cíclicas o no o si bien no tenían esa relación tan cercana, tan positiva con su útero y con su ciclo menstrual. 